Pisces. Welcome to your April tarot forecast and astrology forecast. Now I'm not going to go into every single planet or placement that's what's happening for you. Um, but what I will be doing is going into your full moon and your new moon and how that's going to affect you. Now for those Libra suns who are watching this, I will have to say that this astrology, it does work better if you go by your rising sign um, because your rising sign tends to be your first house. If you go by your sun sign, this is in my um, practice by the way this is Hellenist, Hellenistic astrology um so for instance if your rising sign is Aries it's probably best looking at the Aries bit just for this astrology part and then absolutely feel free to go and have a look and see at the other stuff but the full moon happens on the 8th of April in your first house of Libra now, if you happen to be a Libra sun and a Libra rising, you're probably going to be in this first house. Now, how this is going to affect you is being very much the spotlight is on your body, yourself, your sense of identity, how you put yourself across to the world, how you want to um, show yourself and how you react to things. Now, obviously, the full moon is a huge, beautiful <laughs> full moon because it's actually going to be the super moon so this is probably going to extra charge things now as you may know I am a witch so um, we tend to go through these um, phases where we see super moons and I think we have three this year and this normally enhances a witch's energy this normally enhances our ability to construct spells and get things arranged and just basically feel a lot of energy going through so what you probably be feeling is a lot of energy going into your first house of self and how you feel about yourself your appearance you may worry that you're feeling a little bit down too much lately or you're focusing more on self-care and how you put yourself across to people so that could be around the 8th of April all the way to the new moon in Taurus on the 24th or 23rd depending where you are so this in Taurus is in your 8th house now the 8th house is normally ruled by Scorpio and this is very much about your partner's resources, endings, maybe thinking about change of career. You could be looking into more of your spirituality or occult sciences around that time as well just to kind of connect in with something that may feel like oh I'm, I'm picking up something here maybe let me have a look and see what that is and go more into your spirituality or more into how you feel um call to do things it's taboo basically it's things that we don't tend to talk about to people um so that's why Scorpio rules it so with it being in its opposite sign so the new moon is in Taurus and Taurus and Scorpio are sister signs so I feel this is going to be quite a more rigid exploration to looking into how you can possibly set up your um, resources, other people's money. Maybe if there is an ending coming around, you may be thinking, okay, so what's the next step? And being very Tory and practical. You know, there's going to be something that feels very, um, probably strategic for you. And you're just trying to um, understand you know, where you want to go next, how you want to do things next. So that's something to keep in mind. You know, maybe there's other people's money, loans, stuff like that. Um, things that you don't really want to talk about. You actually start thinking of new ways to speak about them. Or very practical, pragmatic ways of talking about them. So that is how the moon is going to affect you um, this month of April. And I'm now going to go on into a little bit of tarot and spiritual guidance for you Libras, sun, moon and rising. Again, this is a guidance so you may still be affected if you're a Libra, sun or moon. But this is mainly for the rising. It works best if it's in the rising. So now we're going to go on to the Libra tarot. So we're going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot for this. What's coming up for Libra in April 2020? What's coming through for Libra in 2020? Okay, so you have the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Empress, and the Emperor. Ooh, okay. This is very interesting. 
I'll also be getting a card from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. But for now, let's have a see on what's coming through. So, very interesting cards, honestly. The Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, they actually fell out of the deck prior to me shuffling. And I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe there's going to be something about that. And here they are, the first two that actually come through for you. I do feel, though, that the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords is basically saying to balance your emotions. So, again, Libra Full Moon, very hyper-focused on who you want to appear yourself as, you know, how you want to show yourself your path through life. So, you could be balancing everything that's going on at the moment in the world and how that's affecting you with your feeling maybe of... <laughs> gosh maybe of imprisonment or maybe feeling a little bit um out of the loop there's isolation coming through here and if you know recently what that buzzword has been <laughs> self-isolation and stuff like that you're probably going to be experiencing a bit of that it's because everybody in the entire world is experiencing that um so everything is kind of ground down to a halt and there's one subject that we want to hear about but there is also different things that are going on more on a personal basis day to day and I think it's just you having to balance that adaptability with the practicality don't go into your head too much here I know it's easier said than done um but yeah don't go into your head too much I do believe it's going to work out for the best for you because you have the emperor and the empress let me just move these a little bit closer to you so you may be able to see them oh okay so the empress She's a very calm, collected person. She also seems to be very much in control. She's a motherhood abundance, senses nature. She wants to, you know, feel. She's a very intuitive soul. And then you have the emperor here alongside. So they marry together very well, the intuition, but also with the practicality. So for me, I feel this is very much the two moons, to be honest, the Libra and the Taurus. There's kind of a duality of intuiting best move and how you're feeling and also being very grounded in the decisions that you're making i feel so with the emperor there's something to do with education here it could be also to do with an older person in your life like a father figure or even just a mature person who you're interested in romantically you know they could be older than you um by a few years or yeah, they're also suggesting to me um, that this could be somebody who's helping you, who's very grounded and who's helping mould your ideas into something that you can work with that's tangible. So they could be giving you very practical advice this month as to how to work through things, how to organise some aspects of what's coming through for you, you know, in your day-to-day -day life or maybe in the next step of your career almost. Um, but the key is not to get too far into your worry, into your sort of fear base, because I don't think that's going to help anybody at the moment. It's just a case of secondhand, I think, secondhand fear coming on. So let's... Ooh, one already seemed to want to come through um let's get another one what does libra need to know for april 2020 the thing that i'm gonna say to you right now is that it's incredibly tricky for anybody tarot readers um oracle readers angel astrology to say with any any um definitive you know proof or you know collective authority that you know this is going to happen in your life and you're going to go to school or you're going to go to work and you're going to experience this because I don't think we've experienced anything like this in our lifetime so we are going to be I intuitively feel limited in what we can say that's going to happen because everyone is going to be limited in what they can do um, because you know you're not going to stay in your house for two weeks maybe in April maybe the entirety of April I just think that there's going to be a lot of help though sisterhood of the rose there we go beauty and devotion priestess and mystic teacher which can apply to the empress but also the libra I do feel they you know you're very focused on finding the beauty in life you're very focused on finding the good and finding the positive and I feel this is definitely the case for you 
So this is the priestess, this is the mystic, this is some, again, teacher as well. So it could be to do with education. Maybe you're teaching others doing online classes or wanting to take some online classes, maybe into something that's, you know, been interesting you for a while and now you have the time or, you know, you're trying to learn something new or maybe your education goes online. Um, but this is definitely coming through and I do feel that you're going to start finding commonalities with people who kind of are in the same boat as you so this one came through Oops, upside down trust your path I think that's what we're having struggles with at the moment if you knew you would be supported what would you do and I think this is the sisterhood coming in if they're going to be here to support you you know what would you do would you go and you know take that business module would you go and you know design some new invention that everybody would be of benefit with it's just something that they want you to be aware of here i think yeah i'm i'm getting a lot of we need beauty so we need you libras we need beauty we need to be able to see the balance in things the cause and effect we need to be able to see that all is not lost and that if you know beauty and devotion like it says here is can be restored so I know it's going to be difficult, but there's a little bird on the swords here and it is just saying that there's still freedom. There's still going to be freedom after this. There's still going to be ability to live and restore and basically connect. But I just think April is a case of maybe redefining in some ways who you are and who you want to be after all this is over and how are you going to look at the world really. But I do see help coming and I do see you making plans for the future. So it's basically a case of you're still making plans and still looking to the future. It's just kind of awkward for you to implement them definitively right now. But I do hope this helped you, my lovely Libras. Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like a reading from me about anything personal to you or anything that's going on in the world at the moment, do let me know. The description box has all the information. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, love one another, and I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.